Girl, what? Melanie got a deluxe version. Melanie got a. How? How? Because we better find this shit right now. Pluto powder. Milk of the Siren. Girl, it's only been five days. Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentin Jr. And today we are going to be listening to Melanie's deluxe version of Portals already, which is insane. I think that's crazy. Like she didn't even give us time to breathe. It's only been five days since Portals has been released. And I've legit showed Portals to like at least six or seven people. And I've listened to it. I don't even think I could count the times I've listened to it in my own 10 fingers. So, you know, I'm just very excited, very hyped that <laughs> we have more music already. Like, what is she doing? Like, oh my God, that is insane. Like we already have deluxe, the deluxe version. So I'm wondering how the other songs are gonna sound. I'm just like blown away, I'm in awe. Like we have three more songs already. One of which was leaked and I'm honestly really happy that this one's out, okay? Milk of the Siren. I usually listen, okay, listen, listen. I don't support leaks, but I usually listen to them just because I always thought that those are never meant to be on the album. So that's why they're leaked because usually leaked ones are never meant to be on the album, as she says. And the ones that are not leaked are always new. And I always thought that meant that the ones that are gonna be on the album are more securely protected because they're actually gonna be on the album. So this is insane. This is insane. We have this amazing song. I was actually hoping Sirens was gonna be on that, on the album. So I'm very happy that it's here and it made it because it talks about misogyny. You know, those prick ass bitches. I'm glad that this made it. It's a very good story. Like this is one of the, this is one of the more Melanie sounding songs. It has such a good storyline, uh, a good story arc. Like it just, you could envision it. You could literally envision it. So, but Powder and Pluto is new for me. Hopefully Sirens is new as well. Like uh, we don't even know if she has a switch up like she did with Tunnel Vision and Fairy Soiree. So we can just see what happens, of course. We're just gonna see what happens. So without further ado, we're gonna play Powder by Melanie. That's the first deluxe track. <laughs> Temi, Temi from Undertale. What's going on? Oh, girl. What? Huh? What is going on? Let me go to lyrics. One minute. I'm gonna read the lyrics while it plays. Wait. Oh. Oh my God! It's turning to her, her normal voice. Huh? Oh, she's saying powder there. I'm so dumb. I literally thought that was like a Temi breakdown. So I was surprised. Mm -hmm. I never heard this by the way. I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boy, help yourself. Oh. Oh shit. That's funny. I'm guessing this song. This song might be about helping a guy and they don't fucking. Oh, this is really pretty. It's very mellow, but I love it. To the stars, yours to decide. Literally Undertale core. What a breakdown. This is definitely nothing I've heard before. Her voice is very distorted in the song. Super distorted. Mm-hmm. Go help yourself, boy. When will we learn? When this shit is over, bitch. Me breathing. <laughs> Her voice. Her voice sounds so funny in this. Like it's very, like the whole song, she doesn't sound normal, <laughs> which is cool though. I love voice distortion, so that's really cool. Like, oh my God, in Rina Sawayama's Sawayama album, yo, my favorite song is Fuck This World Interlude. That is literally my favorite song from the album, so I can't say anything. Period. Period. That's a pretty one. I wonder, oh, I wonder if they're gonna transition. Oh, it does not. Pluto. Let me pause that, wait, <laughs> sorry. But to talk about 
powder i believe that the meaning of it is i believe the meaning of powder is like trying to help out a guy and they just don't take out like they don't take your offers of help like they're like your options like you literally offer them help and you give them options which is why she says i opened a million doors and it's just like oh you glamorize your pain you wear it on display don't want to know where you're going when you aren't alone you'd rather stay the night uh-huh Oh shit, blood blood falling out from your nose and wondering how. Oh, imagine imagine she or but that's a lot of messages. I'm wondering if he like is a wrecker, is he a cheater or is he getting himself into trouble and doesn't know how to stop? Like why why are you getting yourself into trouble when it's very very much avoidable? You glamorize your pain, wear it on display. What does that mean? Martinez here is expressing that their partner uses their own pay as Oh, a way to gain attention or sympathy. Mmm. Attention seeker. Some guy who's like, woe is me. Girl, maybe you shouldn't be getting yourself into those situations. Or you shouldn't try to guilt trip people. How about that? How about that? Don't guilt trip people. But also, the pre-chorus, I really feel like it's, uh, you know, her trying to give him options and shit to help him out in his career or just like in his life in general and he just doesn't take them he's too lazy to take them he just doesn't put in the effort to take them like what is wrong with you oh yeah lying loud through it all cut your face from the fall when you're hurt who you call which is obviously her and that's funny lying loud she might be referencing battle of the larynx which is about scream fighting with somebody the person lied to melanie about something which she knows was a lie and they are yelling at each other now, which could have been avoided if they told the truth. What a dumb guy. No. Oh my god. Show me a picture you paint of someone else living a double life. Wish I was surprised. This could mean that the person was cheating on Martinez as a double life. Might mean they're leading two lives and keeping one hidden from the other. The show me a picture line might be about Martinez's ex showing them a picture of a person they're cheating with because it was one of their previous relationships and their pain of someone else oh girl so he's a cheater the fuck what a liar anyways let's go straight into pluto i'm wondering how pluto oh pluto's not even a hmm this one might be deep this one might be deep just because pluto's not a planet or considered a planet anymore so i'm wondering what she's about to say about pluto Let's hear. The instrumental already is fire. This sounds like a wa waltz. Oh. Right. I, I know that all too well, girl. Huh. Oh, you know what? Oh no, bitch. Don't do this to me. This is gonna... This is gonna call me the fuck out. No. I'm fucking embarrassed. Uh, stop. I don't wanna listen anymore. Don't wanna listen anymore. Bye. Bye, I'm leaving. Bye. 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 Anyways, so Pluto is that bitch. Now, we don't wanna be called out like this. I know y'all don't, but it's happening. She's doing it. <laughs> I can't believe this. Man. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? Why me? No. I'm going to this right now. So this is crazy by chance. Oh shit. Harriet. Girl, you going crazy for what? Damn. The fuck got me breaking my neck. Anyways. No. Yo. She really, she really, oh, okay, well, right off the bat, it kind of sounds the same, but anyways, <laughs> not her popping off, not her literally popping off and breaking everything, that was insane, that was really good though, but let's talk about the song, because, uh, god damn it, listen, okay, so I'm having like a difficult time, I'd be, I'd be like going back to the people that I used to be friends with, even though it, it obviously ended for a reason. It ended because like it just didn't work out or they're terrible or 
I'm too dependent. But like, I be like going, I literally went back to someone recently, like, and this fucking song is calling me out. Like, please, I didn't need this. No, <laughs> I'm gonna be blasting this shit in the car so loud because why is this relatable? This shouldn't be relatable. But literally it's, it seems to be about like going back to people that you used to know before. And it's just like trying to cope with them and like being comforted by people you knew before. I'm turning to expired routes, help me move on. Expired routes could mean that Melanie is going back to people or coping mechanisms that she has used or asked for help before. But with the second half of the line, it makes more sense for it to be a person. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm gonna fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna vomit, because why me? <laughs> Show me the demons I'm hiding. What once was a home is how I can't manage. Pluto was also the ruler of the Greek underworld. The earliest name for the god was Hades, which became more common as the name of the underworld itself. Pluto represents a more positive concept of the god who presides over the afterlife. Okay. In the song, Melanie asks Pluto, the planet or the god, to show her her inner demons and thus face them to be reborn in a more purified way. This concept is closely related to death and reincarnation, which is explored during the standard version of the album. Uh-huh. Well, Pluto is a person. I mean, it, it represents the planet too, but... Whoops, bitch. Anyways, sirens. We already know this is going to be the bitch. So... Let's just turn it up. Let your sirens strangle the field of silence. I know I was saying drown. Whoops. Waved in our memory the harm that was done. Sisters were killed and abused. Bringing men who would always accuse. Leeches. Leeches. Leeches sounds way different than the leak, so just saying. But girl, she really went. Uh, at first, they were scared. Not scared, but like at first, they were iffy about like killing the pirates and the sailors who were fucking using them. And like, oh my god, this song is just about like men using women and trying to put them beneath them. And them trying to help these guys out and them fucking taking them for granted and being assholes and just being terrible. And look, now all these sirens, that's why sirens turned benevolent because all y'all bitches are so mean. And now they want to guillotine your heads off and lure you and drown you. So y'all got what y'all deserved. Sorry. But, you know, this is what happens when you bite a bullet this is what happens when you try to bite someone who's helping you you know 
So anyways, this song is still a fucking bop. I didn't expect that last part. They really, they went from being iffy about killing all of them to being very sinister, as they should, because that's what they deserve. So, what? Don't, yo, cut them off, leave waters red. That's what she said. Just saying. Y'all heard her. Y'all heard that? Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I definitely enjoyed all these fucking songs. I adored them. These were really good. So, wow. Didn't expect her to release uh, Deluxe so early, but I'm glad she did. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you think in the comments about these songs. Do you love them? Are they in your lists? Because they're all in my playlist now. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And tell me what you want me to react to next what music video or even songs obviously and i'll see you in the next video peace Cause of the flesh that's not yours your hands aren't yours and a little bit rolled up to keep you in the wrong i guess that is a lack of the draw oh.